Hi, I'm Mike. I'm an electrical integration engineer here at Zero Avia. And at Zero Avia, we're building the world's largest and most powerful hydrogen electric aviation powertrain. And that means that we're using hydrogen to run through a hydrogen fuel cell, which powers an electric motor, which then spins the propeller and pushes the plane through the air. Today, I'd like to talk to you about electric motors specifically. An electrical motor is just a machine that converts electrical energy into mechanical rotation. And motors come in so many different types and sizes. They come almost microscopic, like the ones which might drive the buzzer in your smartphone, to truly enormous and powerful, like the sort of motor that runs your electric car, um, or like we're developing to drive an electric uh, powered airplane. All motors are driven based on one fundamental principle, and that's this relationship between the flow of current through electrical current, <laughs> through a conductor, um, and magnetism. And essentially, if there is a flow of current through a conductor, this flow induces a magnetic field around that conductor. Um, and this, can, this means that we can control the strength and direction of a magnetic field um, by controlling the amount uh, and direction of current that flows through a conductor. Conversely, we can also induce current in a conductor by passing a magnetic field through that conductor. <clears throat> so we use this principle to drive the, um, the inner workings of an electrical motor. Now, there's a bewildering variety of electric motors out there. We might find stepper motors in robotic arms, brushless DC motors are very popular currently in drones, AC induction motors, uh, you find them in your uh, kitchen, in the refrigerator, or perhaps in the furnace in your house. Um, brushed DC motors are simpler and they tend to be in uh, toys and even power tools of various types. Um, but EVs, so electric vehicles, tend to use a type of motor called a permanent magnet synchronous motor. And that's also the type of motor that we're developing for our electric powertrain here at Zero Avia. Now, like the name might imply, uh, permanent magnet synchronous motors have permanent magnets. And these magnets are really similar to the ones that you might find uh, stuck to your fridge, or perhaps uh, to the whiteboard in your office at work. Um, I've actually stolen two magnets from my colleague's whiteboard here at work, uh, and uh, here they are. Now, magnets have uh, two poles, and these two poles are north or south, and think of them as positive or negative as well. Um, and as we all sort of know, uh, positive and negative poles attract each other. And if the poles are the same, then they repel each other. So if you see here, they just stick together. And if I rotate one of them, here, you know, you can feel actually the one hand being pulled around in a circle uh, by the other one. Now, this fundamental idea is precisely the idea that is behind permanent magnet synchronous motors. Now, while here I've got two magnets in a PMSN, uh, we actually replace one of these magnets with a ring of electromagnets. Now, as I was mentioning before, the strength of the magnetic field and its polarity, which is created by these electromagnets, can be controlled by the current that we push through the coils of these magnets. Now, with a very clever and sophisticated uh, control scheme, we can actually rotate this magnetic field around the ring that we build around our single permanent magnet here. And so if you can imagine that magnetic field as it is rotated by the electromagnets around it, it pulls the central magnet around it as well. And so this is exactly the principle behind the permanent magnets that are on the rotor of a PMSM motor. And uh, this is, you know, a simplified version of what we are developing here uh, to put in aircraft. Now, why are we doing this for aircraft? Um, certainly there are planes out there and they fly very well with uh, combustion engines. And there are a couple of reasons why we want to do this. And a lot of it have to do, a lot of these reasons have to do with the fundamental uh, advantages that we get by using electricity to drive a motor rather than burning things. Um, first and most obvious is the fact that we don't have to burn anything, right? 
Um, so there's no uh, pollution, there's no carbon dioxide or um, other pollutants that might come out of the back of an aircraft engine, a typical aircraft engine, that you can see crossing the sky or at any airport that, uh, that you might go to. In addition, uh, if you've ever looked in the traditional transmission of a car, uh, of a combustion car, uh, you'll see uh, an, incredible, uh, an incredibly complex machine uh, with lots and lots of gears and uh, all sorts of actuators. Now, uh, if you've ever opened up the motor of an EV, an electric car, uh, you'll see that typically there's only one set of gears. So no real transmission in the traditional sense. <clears throat> this simplicity also applies to electric uh, aircraft. Um, and there we can either have the electric motor attached to uh, a single reduction gear, um, and then that uh, uh, spins the propeller, or uh, sometimes we can even mount the propeller directly to the shaft that goes through the center of the, uh, of the motor. So this is a big simplification from typical uh, aircraft motors and especially piston-driven aircraft. Um, uh, the other biggest advantage uh, that you get from using electric motors is their inherent efficiency. So in a typical combustion engine, your efficiency, so the actual energy that you get out of a motor as opposed to the energy that you put into it, is maybe between 30 or 40 percent. You can see this if you go to an airport, say, on a, on a cold day, um, and you look at the airplanes taking off, and you'll see uh, the light is actually bent uh, just behind the engine by the heat streaming out of these engines. And that heat represents, especially at that phase of flight, about 70% of the energy that would be in the, the fuel. Now, an electric motor is typically 90 to above 90% efficient. So you can actually get the same power, the same energy that's actually doing useful work um, with much less fuel with an electric motor. So these are a lot of the reasons why it's a fascinating time to be working here at Zero Avia on the world's most powerful hydrogen electric drivetrain for aviation. I get to play with uh, powerful electric motors and high voltage and a lot of other things that make electrical engineers like me happy. So thanks for watching and please check us out at zeroavia.com. Thanks.